Tax Act Texas Bowl between Texas Tech and Ole Miss. Ole Miss three, three and a half point favorite, over under 69 and a half. This game will be played 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN on Wednesday night. News first, Texas Tech portal, their safety, who plays their star position, Pearson, is in the portal. One of their defensive linemen, kind of a depth piece, but plays also. And then Tyree Wilson, who was uh, even a second the Big 12 in sacks, he uh, is hurt. So he's – and then he declared for the NFL draft. He got hurt in week 11. Ole Miss, you know, they had a couple guys in the portal who aren't really big contributors. The rest of the team is in here. They have no one gone and opting out. They have no one really gone to the NFL. Where everything I've read, both these teams are going to care. Most of the teams are going to play. Like I'm looking forward to this game, and I love the over. I think this is – first of all, this is the trillion plays bowl. I, both these teams want to run as many plays as possible. You are going to get just – you want a lot of plays, chances for points, and I, I think you're going to have you know some Lane Kiffin specials, and you're, you're going to see – a million fourth down attempts in this game. A million. Uh, and I think both offenses have major advantages. Now, Texas Tech off offense struggled at times because of quarterback injuries. But it looks like Baron Morton is healthy. Tyler Shuck, it looks like it's going to get the start. But you could see some Morton. And Chuck was hurt. And, you know, he came back from injury. He was rusty as hell. You could see that in his first couple games back. But he came, in his final game of the season, uh, he threw for 430 yards against Oklahoma. And, um, you know, he his rushing stats started to bump up, too. So I think he's fully healthy now. And, you know, he has a really talented arm. The Texas Tech offensive line is not great, which has kind of held back their offense at times. But the Ole Miss defensive line is also really bad. Ole Miss trended down second after the season. Their defense is not that great. Uh, I think Texas Tech's defense also can be had here. This is just – as you're going to see fourth downs – this is like the, your prototypical bowl. I think both teams will care. It'll be in Houston, Texans, Texas. I don't think I'll have to worry about weather. Um, I, yeah, this is this is over for me. This is a fun bowl, and I would lean taking the points with uh, the Red Raiders. But, yeah, I'm going to sit down the night of December 28th and just – it's going to be a blissful – well, hopefully it goes blissfully. But uh, at first, it'll be a blissful experience of – Hey, I got over 69 and a half with these two teams that are just going to run as many plays as humanly possible. Let's have some fun. That's what I'm doing in the tax act, Texas bowl. What say you? It's Texas tech all the way for me. There's uh, Joey McGuire is building steam in this program. Uh, not just with how they finish the season with what he's doing in the portal uh, with what they are doing from a recruiting standpoint. Uh, Texas tech is going to be such a buy in 2023. Uh, they finished top 25 in defensive rushing success rate this season. They're ranked top 35 in defensive finishing drives. And that really doesn't do the Red Raiders justice because they finished ninth in red zone D. It doesn't even matter when a team crosses the 40. Once they get past the 20, Texas Tech has been great at stopping opponents. 43% of opponent red zone attempts have ended in a touchdown. I mean, they have been great at keeping six off the board. Losing Tyree Wilson was big from a pass rush perspective, but he was only the eighth best run defender in PFF grading. Uh, and of the 83 tackles for loss, Wilson had just 14 of those. So there's still a lot of talent outside of him on this Texas Tech defense. And Ole Miss, you know, we've said this all year long. It really increased how much they run the ball. 62% riding freshman Quinshawn Judkins. Texas Tech does give up explosive runs. They're outside the top 100. There's no denying that you can get a big explosive play, but at the same time, they can't stop you at the line of scrimmage. Ole Miss finished outside the top 90 in red zone efficiency. That is a huge concern. Like Ole Miss can have these great drives, these great rushing, these chunk plays, but Texas Tech has been so legit behind the 20, that, and that's where Ole Miss has floundered this year. So can Ole Miss finish these drives and get points on the board? A big, a big question. Now, when you go to the other side of the ball, in my opinion, it's the biggest reason why Texas Tech will have no problem scoring points at will, no matter if it's Tyler Shug, no matter if Bear Morton's healthy. Offensive coordinator Zach Kitley is going against Ole Miss defensive coordinator Maurice Crum. These two were on the staff at Western Kentucky last season. And if you go and you read between the lines, whether you want to do message boards or you want to do pressers, uh, Zach Kitley is going to have no problems calling an offense against Maurice Crum since he knows exactly everything, the scheme that's ran, the blitz packages, the naming convention, everything uh, – Everything that Ole Miss does on defense, Kitley knows. Uh, and that is such a huge advantage here. 
So, you know, and Kinley's two years removed from coaching in Houston for Houston Baptist with Bailey Zappi two years ago. Um, and, you know, Shug looks healthy. Nine scrambles his last two games. Uh, you know, he didn't play. He's only had six games, but, you know, he saved his best for the Oklahoma defense in the season finale. He had 436 passing yards. This is full steam ahead on the Red Raiders here, and they are a huge buy team in 2023. 